Robert, what I find really interesting about your work is that you have created um, research that I've never seen before, where you're connecting a lot of da Vinci's work to ancient Egypt. And a lot of the symbols that you talk about have a hidden meaning. So I was wondering if you had any more evidence of this that could kind of strengthen that connection between da Vinci and ancient Egypt. Oh, you want to see it? You see this weird little thing hanging out here on the left side of Mona Lisa's face? What does that look like to you? Like a C? Like it looks a like a letter C, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a C. Yeah. But it's also got these things coming off the bottom of it. So it's almost like it's it's writing somehow, but it also could just be if you flip this on its side, it's the shape of an omega. Okay, it's the exact shape of an omega. In fact, it's the exact shape of the omega on the rim of the sarcophagus in the Great Pyramid. The omega has the the instead of having flat lines at the bottom, right? It's like coming off at at 137 and a half degrees. Now, what I noticed also was that on the Vitruvian Man right here, you'll notice that you know there's 14 lines that were cut into the Vitruvian Man. Why 14 lines? Because Osiris was cut into 14 parts by his brother Set. Okay, he was cut into 14 parts. But the point is that if you'll notice here, there's an extra line here. On the other side, there's no extra line. There's a line at the wrist, but there's no line right here. Do you see this line right here? What does this look like? It looks like a cuff, doesn't it? So why would there be a cuff on his hand? Do you see it? You see this line? You see this line? Yep. It's like a cuff. But on the other side, there's no such cuff. And then if you notice also, it looks like there's almost like a chain dangling faintly with another letter C right here that's sort of broken. It's like a broken shackle. So he's missing the shackle. So what I did is I said, well, wait a minute. Maybe the paintings by da Vinci actually all connect to each other via you know, overlays. So if we overlay them, is there a message? Because everyone looks for encryptions within each individual painting, but nobody ever looked at encryptions to combine the paintings, right? So what I did is I then took and said, okay, let's put the Vitruvian man. If I were da Vinci, how would I encrypt this? What I would do is I would take the width of the square of da Vinci's Vitruvian man, where his fingertips are going to the edge of that square, I would place the fingertips to the edges of the Mona Lisa, exactly to the edges of the Mona Lisa. And then I would also place the feet on the little stand exactly that her hands are resting on. And if I did that, then what happens? Well, what happens is the Vitruvian man, which has a circle also, then perfectly crowns the Mona Lisa. So her head fits perfectly inside this circle now. And this is a very specific proportion because the finger is coming to the each edge of the end of the exact proportion of the, of the Mona Lisa. And I thought, well, if I put the Vitruvian man in this position, does the shackle end up over his wrist? And it freaking does. Wow, that is really crazy. I mean, so if it is the Alpha Omega symbol, it means the balance of feminine and male energy is represented as a secret. That's crazy. And if it's represented as a secret, then it means it could point towards a power that not everyone possesses. Could this balance of power be the way out of the matrix, out of the system, out of the simulation? Uh, and that is why it's a secret because not all people are supposed to understand that. Uh, but it feels that we are at a point where we need to actually access our full potential. And one of the key points of that, especially what you're trying to point out in Da Vinci's work, is a balance between the feminine and the male energy. Stay tuned for where you can watch the full movie of Code 12 and learn the science behind this code. Subscribe here to get more updates and free content. That is, if the simulation doesn't get in your way.